Anyone who wants to know a little bit about Hank Thomas's approach to business has to learn a little bit of United States civil rights history. Thomas was one of the original 13 freedom bus riders in the 1960s. The experience has changed the way he faced a challenge. In the town of Rock Hill, South Carolina, just below Charlotte, uh, John Lewis and I were scheduled to get off the bus and go into the bus station uh, and desegregate the bus station. As soon as John Lewis got off, he was attacked by a mob and then I had to get off behind him and I went into uh, the white only waiting room. I was immediately arrested by the police, taken to the police station, and then later that night taken out of the police station and taken to a Klan uh, fest, if you will. There were a group of Klansmen who were waiting for me and waiting for the police to deliver me to them. The only way I escaped, I knew I was pretty good shape athletically and uh, I was able to outrun them and at a very opportune time. Hank's ability to make a move at the right time probably saved his life that night. But his friends and family claim that the same sense of timing has also made him wealthy. Hank is able to see the potential and opportunities where others that are more conservative would not. And it seemed like everything he touches has seemed to just turn into gold. Hank had established himself as a front-running franchisee within the system with many, many accomplishments. I have learned over the years that he has very good instincts. Um, so I, I tend to follow his instincts, but I don't do it blindly. Hank describes Yvonne as his friend, wife, and business partner. Together they have owned, operated, and developed Marriott Hotels, Fairfield Inns, and continue to operate two McDonald's restaurants. You're the brains of the operation. Well, yeah, but yeah, but brains don't talk and do all that. But we have a good combination. Yeah, we really. play off of each other. Yet, if you ask Hank Thomas who inspired him most in his entrepreneurial quest, he'll give you a unique answer. I consider myself a disciple of Booker T. Washington, and again, I want to thank the Business League for recognizing me but more than just recognizing the two of us, they are recognizing the need for black people to control the economy within their uh, particular community. And the Business League for many, many years has done that. And I just appreciate the fact that uh, they think that I'm worthy enough to be mentioned um, and be inducted into their Hall of Fame. For his contributions to history and achievements in several realms of the hospitality industry, the Atlanta Business League is pleased to induct Hank Thomas as a legend in the 2010 Men of Influence Hall of Fame.